Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful spring Hitchol style beaded bracelet only out of seed beads. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials, mainly on Facebook and Instagram. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and uh, if you like subscribe there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 0 seed beads. Here I use a toggle clasp and two jump rings, but you could use a regular clasp or any type of clasp you like. This is nylon thread that is 0.2 millimeters thick, which is size D. The brand is Nemo. Here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take two feet of thread on my needle, which is about 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up is 12 yellow beads. Okay, I have my 12 yellow on my needle, three times four. Okay, and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice with my tail thread through the loop I've made. Then pull slowly and make sure that you are between those two beads where you started your knot from. And you could do another knot here just to be sure that it's all tight and secure. Okay. Now I have this. And what I want to do next, guys, is reinforce my work. Okay. I went one more time around this circle and what I want to take next are three red beads. Okay, I have them here on my needle and as I'm exiting through this yellow bead, I'm skipping the next yellow and going through the following yellow. Okay, and I pull. Okay, then I will do the same thing. I'm taking three red beads, okay? As I'm exiting through this yellow, I'm skipping the next one and going through the following. Okay. Then I'm taking three more seed beads, skip the next and go through the following and pull. And I'm going to repeat this, guys, three more times. Okay, guys, now I have this. And in my next step, I'm going through the next two seed beads. And what I want to pick up here is one green, two yellows, and one green bead. Okay, this is what I have. And as I'm exiting through one of these seed beads, I'm going through the other one that's sticking out the most. Okay, then again, I'm taking a green, two yellows, and a green. Okay, I have this. And as I'm exiting through this red bead that's sticking out the most, I'm going through the next one, through the next angle red bead. Okay. 
a green, two yellows and a green. This is what I have. And I'm going through the next angle. Okay. And I will continue these guys three more times. Okay, and this is the what the last seed bead I'm adding through this row. In this row. And now I want to exit out of the next two yellow beads. Okay, these two yellows. And I'm going to take a yellow, a red and a yellow. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going back in circle through these two yellows, just like this. Then I'm going through the following green. Okay. And I take one green and I go through the next green. And if you want, go through the next two yellows as well. Okay, so put one green here and go through the next two yellow beads. Now, what I need to take is a yellow, a red, and a yellow. Okay, go back here and go through the following green. Okay, then take a green one and go through the next green and through the yellows. Okay, then again a yellow, red, yellow, go back, go through the following green as well. Here, take one green. And now, guys, I will continue this three more times. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from here, repeat it here, and meet me. Okay, guys, and here I'm adding my last green bead, just like this. And then what I want to do is go through this yellow. Okay, and I will change direction. And I'm taking three yellow beads going here through this yellow. So exiting out of this yellow, I'm going through this one. If you couldn't see from my finger, okay. And now, guys, what I want to do is flip my work. It's not obligatory. You could continue in the other direction, but since I'm right-handed, I prefer to go in this direction. So I take one green bead. And I go here through this one. One green. Go here. Take three yellow beads. Go here to finish your flower, you see where. Then one more green. Then one more green. Then three yellows. And as I'm exiting through this yellow, I'm going through the other one. Yeah, I'm exiting from here, adding three and going through this one. Okay. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. I'll do this off camera. And if you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video. See how I'm doing this part and repeat it from here and meet me. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last seed bead from this row. And what I want to do next is go here in this direction. 
and exit through the first green bead. Now I need one green bead and I go here through the next green and I also went through the yellow and I pull. Now you see what I have. Then I will go in this direction. Go through all of those yellow beads and through the first green bead. You see where I am. And go like this. Pull. Take one. Go through the green and also through the following yellow if you can in one movement. Then through these two yellows. And my goal, guys, is to go through the first green. And here, as you may see, I need to add only one green bead. Okay. Then I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. And I think it's easy. You know, if you forgot how I'm doing something, you could always rewind and repeat it for the rest of the row. Okay? So I will finish this off camera and meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And if you want and if you have enough thread, you could go reinforce your work. It's not obligatory, but you could do it if you want. And now I will find a place to make a knot and cut my thread because my element is ready. Okay, and in order to do this, I'm making here a loop between two beads and I'm going once. Then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull. And you could repeat this knot several more times. And when you're ready, take your scissors and cut your thread. Okay, now my element is ready and I will make five more of those elements and I'll be back to tell you how to assemble them in a bracelet. Okay, guys, and the same way I did five more elements. If you forgot how I'm doing it, you could always rewind the video and make another element using the video. Okay, so I have six in total. You could make seven or less or more depending on the wrist size and on the clasp you're going to use. And now I'm going to show you how to assemble those in a bracelet. Okay, now I have half an arm span of thread on my needle. And what I'm going to do next is go here through some beads with my new thread. Hold it like this. And here I will make a loop. And I will go twice through the loop I've made like I showed you before. And I'm holding my tail thread. Okay. Then I pull and now my thread is attached to my work and what I'm going to do is exit here and um, I will make here a loop of beads where I will attach my clasp later. Okay, I will cut this tail thread and you could do some more knots if you want to be sure it's all tight and secure with the new thread. And now I'm going to pick up six of these beautiful green beads. Okay, I have six on my needle and as I'm exiting guys here you see I will go in the same place in my other flower okay and I pull okay then what I do next is that I go here through my beads in this direction and I'm going here 
and I want to reinforce this part here. And what else I could do is add an additional bead here to make an angle. Okay, I'm going through three green beads and I'm adding one more bead here. In this way, I'm making a cool angle here. And you could go reinforcing this as many times as you want and as you can because sometimes it won't be possible to go through them so many times. Again, when I skip this bit, I make my angle pop up even more. And what I want to do next, guys, is reach the other part of my work. Where I will attach my next element. Okay guys, and you see these beads, I, I'm here at these two opposite beads and now I'm exiting out of the same place here, this bead that is the central bead of my three beads that I added last in my, almost the last row of my work. Okay, so now I'm exiting here, you see where my thread is and I want to take one green bead and I'm going back through the same place but in my other flower, in my other element. Okay, don't worry here, I'm covering it up with my finger but now you will see it, okay, like this. And then I take one more green bead and I go back here like this. And you could turn your work the way it's easier for you all the time. Now I will make here a reinforcement of these beads here that I just added. And you could do this two or three times, uh, however you like it better. And then go at your next flower to attach your neighbor two flowers to each other. Okay, and you go to the same place here, the central of the three beads added last. And here I take one green and go like this. And then I will add one more green, go like this. Now I will show a reinforcement like this, like this, and like this. Then go through all of those beads and exit out of the other part of this flower. Okay, exit here and now it's time to take my next element and I will attach it the same way I showed you before. I will take one green and here one more green then go here, attach it this way, go through this and add another one. Okay, and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to attach your clasp 
Okay guys, and you see I'm here where I just attached my last element and now what I'm going to do is go through all of those bits and exit here. Uh, I will do this off camera and then I will make the same loop of bits that I did from this side. First I take six bits and then one here in the center. So basically I will repeat what I was doing before going through all of those bits, exit here, making this loop for my clasp and then I'll be back. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video to this part and see how I do this. Okay, I'll meet you in a while. Okay guys, and now I have this. You see here I did this loop the same way I did from this side and I made a knot and I cut my thread. So it's all the same. If you forgot how I'm doing something, just rewind the video. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is put my clasp. Okay, I will open up my jump ring, put it here with my pliers. Then I will take my clasp and I will close back my work, okay? Just like this, in the same direction as I opened it. Now I will repeat this from the other side of my bracelet and I'll be back. Hey guys, and you see I added the other part of my clasp here and now my bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. I will be so happy to have you as my viewer. Down there in the description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. You are invited to share your work on Instagram or on my Facebook page and I will be so happy to see your creations. Uh, by the way, you could check my second channel with the fast clips for new inspiration. So that was all from me. Bye bye.